a cup of tea. I'm putting a tea bag into a cup of hot water. Why does the hot water turns into brown color? To answer to this question, let's look at today's topic, the three states of matter. After today's lesson, you are able to generalize that matter consists of particles, compare and contrast three states of matter based on the kinetic theory in terms of the arrangement and movement of particles. The kinetic theory of matter states that matter is made up of constantly moving small and discrete particles. These particles are so tiny and cannot be seen with our naked eye or even by using a light microscope. It can only be seen through an electron microscope. Let's do a simple activity to show that matter is made of tiny and discrete particles. I'm putting some copper sulfate crystal into some water. The copper sulfate crystal dissolve in water and form a blue solution. Next, I'm adding in some water into the copper sulfate solution. As you can see, the color of the solution turns lighter. This is because after some water is added, the quantity of water particles increases, whereas the amount of copper sulfate particles remained unchanged. The solution is diluted. This activity shows that the crystal of copper sulfate is made of millions of tiny and discrete particles, some of which still present in water even after dilution. Let's look at another activity to show that matter is made up of small and discrete particles. What happened to the balloon after a few days? The balloon deflates because the small and discrete particles escape through the pores of the balloon. This shows that matter is made up of small and discrete particles. The main difference between air, water and stone is their physical state. Air is a gas. Water is a liquid while stone is a solid. Since they are all made up of matter, therefore, we can say that matter can exist in three different states, which are solid, liquid, and gas. Water is the only substance in this nature that exists in all three states naturally. Water is in liquid state at room temperature, when it is frozen, water changes to ice. Meanwhile, water that is heated at 100 degrees Celsius will change to steam. Each state of matter has different physical properties. This can be explained by the arrangement and movement of particles in solid, liquid and gas. For example, the shape of a solid Solid has a fixed shape, whereas liquid takes the shape of the container and gas also takes the shape of the container. So all this can actually be explained by the arrangement and movement of particles in the three states of matter. Next, let's look at the arrangement and movement of particles in solid. The particles of solid are arranged in a regular pattern. The space in between the solid particles are small and they arrange very close together. In terms of movement, 
the particles of solids vibrate in a fixed position. For liquid particles, the space between particles are moderate and particles arranged close to each other. In terms of movement, the particles move freely and collide with one another. For gas particles, the space between particles are large, the particles arrange very loosely, and in terms of movement, the particles move randomly and collide with one another. As you can see, the particles in solid, liquid and gas arrange and move differently. This is why the solid, liquid and gas have different physical properties. Let's see one by one. Solid has a fixed shape. This is a solid. When I put solid into a cup, the shape remains unchanged. If I pour some liquid into a cup, the liquid follow the shape of the cup. So this shows that solid has a fixed shape, whereas liquid follows the shape of the container. And gas also follow the shape of the container. Solid has a fixed shape because the particles are closely packed in a fixed and regular pattern. Liquid has no fixed shape. Liquids are able to flow and take on the shape of their containers because the particles can move around. Gas has no fixed shape. The particles move randomly in all directions and spread out as far as they can and occupy the entire space of the container quickly. Thus, gases also take on the shape of the containers. Liquids are able to flow because the particles of liquid slide over each other. Solid has a fixed volume. For example, let's say the volume of this remote control is 100 cubic centimeter. It is always 100 cubic centimeter. Whereas for liquid, let's say we have 200 ml of liquid inside. When I change to another container, the volume of liquid is still 200 ml. So, liquid has a fixed volume too. Whereas for gas, gas fill up the container. So, the volume of the gas, for example, the air inside the balloon, will follow the volume of the balloon. For volume, solid has a fixed volume because the particles are arranged closely and cannot be compressed. For liquid, liquid has a fixed volume because the particles are arranged quite closely and cannot be compressed. For gas, gas has no fixed volume because the particles have large spaces between them and can be compressed easily. In terms of density, solid has the highest density because the particles are closely packed and has a large number of particles per unit volume. For liquid, liquid has moderate density because the particles are arranged further apart and has slightly smaller number of particles per unit volume compared to solids. For gas, gas has very low density because the particles are arranged far apart and has small number of particles per unit volume. Solid cannot be compressed, so we cannot compress solid. Whereas for gas, Gas can be compressed easily. For compressibility, solid cannot be compressed because the particles are close together and have no space to move into. 
For liquid, liquid cannot be compressed because the particles are arranged quite closely and have no space to move into. For gas, gas can be compressed easily because the particles are far apart and have large spaces to move into. Next, let's answer a few questions. What is item A, B and C? Item A is a gas, item B is a solid, and item C is a liquid. 50 ml of water and alcohol are measured in two different measuring cylinders. How much liquid will we get if we mix the water to the alcohol? The volume of the water and alcohol mixture is only 98.5 milliliter. Why is the total volume of the mixture less than 100 ml? Both water and alcohol have spaces between their particles. The particles of water and alcohol are not of the same size. When mixed, the smaller particles fill in the spaces between the larger particles in the mixture. So, there is less space in the mixture. This results in a slightly lesser total volume reading. When we add 50 ml of water to another 50 ml of water, what is the total volume? Explain your answer. We get 100 ml when we add 50 ml of water to another 50 ml of water. This is because the water particles which are of the same size cannot fill the spaces in between the water particles. Why do tyres have to be filled with air? This is because air is compressible. With air, the shock is absorbed, allowing for a smoother ride. So, why the tea is brown in colour? Matter is made up of very small particles. When the tea bag is added into the hot water, the brown colour of the tea spread in the cup. The brown particles of tea spread through the particles of hot water. That's why the tea is brown in colour. That's all for today's topic. Thank you.